you know, we've only gotten a handful of negative comments from Christians about being rated R. And honestly, they've been pretty great discussions that we've had via via comments on some of our things. Like, I'm not against it. I, I love it. If you have questions as to why we did it or, or you dis- disagree with it, let's talk about it. I think the idea of art within the church is a discussion that we haven't really had very much. We've kind of drawn these lines. And then uh, we, we don't talk about it. And so I love this discussion that we've been able to have um, with this film kind of pushing boundaries a little bit. The whole purpose of putting this content in our film is not to glamorize or to glorify the content. It's to show the realities of where God met this girl, the the realities of the world she was in, um, where God met this girl. And we had one comment say like, I've seen powerful raw testimonies without needing language. And I've seen powerful raw testimonies without needing to show the drug use. Um, and, And I don't disagree that you can tell these stories in a powerful way without that type of content. But I also do kind of disagree. I, I think you could do, you, you know, uh, I agree and disagree at the same time. I think there's a powerful film that could have been told with Pastor's Kid not having the language in it. But I also think that by not having that in there, you are doing a disservice to the power of what God pulled her out from. And at no point within the film do we sit here and say, this is the way that you should act, or, or this is a good way to live your life. The whole point is to show this is the reality of where she's in, and she is not finding her purpose uh, in this space. And so it's it's the beauty of, of really saying that God will, will leave the 99 for the one. He will go into the darkness for the one that is lost. And I think that when we don't show the darkness, not that we need to glorify it or it needs to be overly explicit, but when we don't show the darkness, um, I think we do a disservice to that idea that God goes into the darkness for us, is that he is unafraid to step into that for us.